Everybody, welcome to Bonehead Outdoors. Today I'm out with uh, my son Tony and my girlfriend Kim. She's behind the camera. We just tracked a fox squirrel through the woods all the way up to this big tree. I know he's up there. We just saw him. So we're going to try to uh, get him to spin around one way. I remember I told you how he sent somebody on the other side of the tree to get him to work around. We're going to try that on him. I know we'll get him. It's going to take a little bit of time. You guys just hang with us. I'll take you for a ride. He's looking right at me. Try to hit him in the head, okay? All right, Tony, up in the tree. Too much up in the tree. Did you hit him? I missed. Is he still there? It looks like it. Oh, I see yeah, him. Yeah, look at him. See him? Yeah, I see him. Let me take a crack at him. Make sure you don't hit the ground. If he hits on the ground, we'll never get him again. Walk around the other side of the tree. Over here? Yeah. I don't know how you missed him. What? I don't know how you missed him. I think he's headed right back where you seen him the first time. Oh, I see his butt. Do you see him? Yeah. He's right in there. Oh, yeah, I see his tail. That means he's looking at me. Right? He's like right Tony, in. Tony, keep walking. He's coming around. I got him. All you gotta do is get him. Okay, you ready? Yeah. There's two up there. Is there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I see the other one up here now. <gasps> got oh, one. Okay, great, okay, Tony. On, I got this one. I hope All he right. shoots the right way. He will. <laughs> Did he come down? Yes. All right, I see, I see right. the other one. Tony just shot one. He shot him quicker than Kim could get the camera on. But when he shot, we discovered there's two squirrels up in that tree. So now we're going to try to get the second one down. All right, let's see how we see if we can get this one on video for you. And maybe we'll get a double. It's coming down. Where? Oh, he's over here on my side. He's right here. I see him. That one got him. Yeah. He's going to roll down. Alright, two squirrels out of one tree. Where'd you hit him at? I think I hit him. I think I hit him somewhere close to the tail. Not exactly. Another boar? Look at the female. Look at the pecker. Look at the titties. Oh my god, you too. This is a boy. There you go. Two squirrels out of one tree. Yeah. We tracked these squirrels from probably 500 yards back. We took them right to the tree. We got a good fresh snowfall. Ugh. I think that one was sitting in there's the tree, where, though. There's where it hit him. See it right here? Yeah. That's not a bad deal right there. Two big fox squirrels. Let's put them in a the pack. We'll go hunt up a couple more. All right. This is our first two squirrel day. <laughs> All right. We got more squirrel. We were just walking along the edge of a cornfield out there. And with all the white snow on the ground, this guy, he stood out. And he stood out hard against the the uh, background, the white sky and, of course, the white snow. And I was able to make a shot out. He probably, I don't know, 50 or 60 yards with my 22. That's a nice little black squirrel. That makes three. Today. Today. I got two in the fridge ready to be cooked, so... Maybe when we get home, I'll show you guys how I'm going to cook them. So, uh, I just walk around and see if we can find another one. All right, it was a three squirrel day. We're going to get them skinned, take them in the house. You guys come on in and let us a little later. I'm going to show you how I'm going to cook them. This is Bonehead Outdoors. Thanks for watching. Okay, folks, here I am. I'm in my kitchen cooking my squirrel. Down here is my squirrel. All I did was boil it. I quartered him out. And we got a back leg, rib cage, another back leg, another rib cage. There's another rib cage. And some, you know, all the, all the parts that are in there. I'm just kind of cooling it off. And uh, getting all the cooked blood and stuff out of there. So that'll be nice, clean pieces of meat. And when I come back, I'll show you what we're going to batter it in and I'll fry it. So just hang on there. Okay, here we are. Back in my kitchen. Got my squirrel cleaned up. All the all the little 
boiled blood spots are gone. Um, I got over here, just heating up a pan of grease. The squirrel's already cooked, so all you really got to do is more or less brown the, the breading that you're putting on it. The breading I got here is just, uh, you can use whatever you want. I've got some flour, some salt, pepper, Italian seasonings, and some garlic in there. So, I mean, you smell it? it smell pretty good? Mm, I think it smells good. But anyhow, we'll take and throw a few pieces in here. This is a pretty pretty neat way to, to bread them if you want to do that. I'm going to do some the legs, front legs and back legs. Alright, there's a few of them. We'll put the lid on. And you just give it a little shake like that oops put the lid on tighter like that and there we got some breaded squirrel meat we're gonna come over here and drop it right in the pan like I said all we got to do is uh, drop it in there and let it cook because or let it turn brown because the uh, squirrel is pre-cooked when I boiled it when I boiled it I boiled it for about an hour hour and a half to get it good and tender the squirrel is naturally a tough meat. Even a young squirrel is really tough. And I know three of these were relatively young. Alright, we'll go ahead and let them cook for a little bit. And I'll see you in a couple minutes. Alright, these have only been in here for a couple minutes. I just could have told you too. You could do this in a deep fryer. It doesn't take as long. It's not quite as messy. But I don't have a deep fryer, so we do it the conventional method in a oil-filled pan. You can see where these are turning already turning brown. It doesn't take very long. Good hot grease. All right. We took out the first batch in there. Throw the second batch in and get them cooking. We got some uh, venison back straps going here too. Look at them babies, huh? Whoa! So we just got we've got the we've got the whole wild game feast going on tonight. There it is, folks. Got some fried squirrel, some fried back straps off of a venison, homemade squirrel gravy, and some mashed potatoes. This is where it's at. Bonehead Outdoors. Thanks for watching.